Hello everyone, my name is Tara Mistful and welcome back to Star Stable Online with Firebird and Phoenix. We're just in Moorland at the moment and Maya wants to talk to me about something. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, look, it's a cute new nabstropper in pink. That is adorable. Okay, I'm going to see what Maya has to say. I don't suppose you lost a horse, a big foofy, I think this meant to be floofy, girl with a black coat and a draft... In a draft horse, I think. Sorry, I can't be more specific, but we don't see a lot of horses like that around here, especially not ones with an attitude like that. She's so... What? You know what? You should probably just go check out her out for yourself. See if you can find any leads about who she belongs to. I'd rather this get sorted before the boss finds out. We've got a lot of new arrivals at the riding camp who don't know their way around horses the way you do, so it's sort of a liability thing. She's over at the dock on the beach just west of here. Okay, this is something I have not done before. This is different. Who is this horse? I- what? Um, by the dock on the beach, so I need to head this way. Oh, that- the little- the little dock over there. Okay, let's go see who this mystery horse is. So here's the little beach area. She must be further along. So it's a draft, a draft horse, a black draft horse. I wonder what breed it is. Oh! Oh, hello! It's a little, it's a little not Swedish. I know you. This must be the horse Maya was talking about. Oh, I love this coat colouring. I wish we could get a horse this coat colouring. What's in this little box? Is there anything? Are those like cinnamon rolls or something? They look good. There's a note attached to the bridle. Property of the amazing Idris. If found, please return to Nelma's Highland along with any cargo and you shall be rewarded handsomely. Okay. P.S. In case of stubbornness, use cookies. Oh, I think they're cookies. P.P.S. But not too many, no matter how much she begs. Oh, okay. So, use, okay, I already have the cookies. So, use item horse cookie. Uh, how do I, I'm trying to give you, oh, I need dismount first, okay. Let's give her a cookie. Oh, this is cute. Oh, she's carrying the little box with her. Okay, wait, wait for me. Get closer to Z to guide her back to her owner. Wait for me, Z. Let's go. Oh, she's so cute. Come on. Okay, she's picking up the pace a bit. She has a short little tail. I love her coat colouring though, the silver black, it's so pretty, so pretty. Okay, come on. Oh, she just ran through another horse and rider, okay. blue crystals that I saw in the last episode. Oh, don't run into her. Is she carrying like a pedestal or is that a box of something? Aha! Hello? Idris. Stop! Do not tell me who you are. The amazing Idris knows all. Okay. I'm Idris. Idris the Amazing. Am I saying it right? Idris? Or is it Idris? I keep going to say Idris. 
Maybe it's Yidris. Yidris. The magnificent, the phenomenal. Call me anything you wish as long as it's not ordinary. Okay, so I can call him Yidris if I want. And you must be Xanthibi. Xanthibi? I actually like that name. That's a cool name. Yosephine Zoria Phoenix? These are all really cool names. I love Xanthibi. Or Xanthibi. Phoenix? I must have a little psychic power after all. <laughs> okay. A great fool once said, The noblest art is that of making others happy. That is what I intend to do here in Jorvik. Make people happy. And who knows, perhaps someday the joy I bring can spread to the entire world. Wouldn't that be grand? How do I hope to spread my gospel of delight? By following in the footsteps of the aforementioned fool. With a circus. And what a circus it shall be. Magic, miracles, mischief. Your every dream will come true. And of course, this being Jorvik, there will be a special place for horses. But I cannot do it alone. That is why I sent dear Z on a very important mission. Did you find what I asked for, my four-legged friend? <sighs> She's so cute. Mm. Phoenix, if you would be so good as to open the box and place the contents on the pedestal there, I will show you another good trick that I know. Uh, okay. Um, let's hop down. Clown mask. That is a creepy looking, yeah, a slightly creepy blue circus mask. Just a bit creepy. Mm. Voila, a simple wooden mask. Mm. Masks are one of the most, Im most powerful forms of magic. They allow one to become someone else. They can render the wearer's true self invisible. So perhaps this mask is not so simple after all. That's actually really poetic, talking about masks. I love that. Uh, it's floating! Oh, that's even creepier! <laughs> Was he inside that mask? Zin, what a proper fool you are. It's no wonder you're my favourite companion. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, she has purple eyes? I didn't notice that before. Oh, I love her eyes. Mm. Of course, Z, you are also my favourite. We are all one big happy family of misfits. No need to be jealous. Zin, say hello to our friend Phoenix, brought into our circle as if by destiny. Now, now, don't be shy. Uh, I kind of want that mask. It looks kind of cool now that I'm seeing it, um, bigger. Um, okay. Mm. Merci, my sweet. Mm. Now that we are all properly introduced, let us get down to... Brass tacks. The four of us are going to build a circus together. Actually, make that the five of us. Firebird is part of our family now too. Aww. Oh, Z's not happy about that. Hmm. First up, the big top. Phoenix, if you wouldn't mind pulling the tent out of the crate over there. It's not there, is it? Hold on, I know it's around here somewhere. Whoops, well, one of those has to be the right one. Step to it, Phoenix, find our tent. What am I doing all the work? Okay. Oh, oh. Why so many boxes and why are none of them labelled? It's not that one. Oh, that just disappeared. Okay. Are these boxes like holograms or something? These boxes don't exist. The box is a lie. Oh, oh, okay. I was just inside of that giant tent. I love the colours. Hmm. Where did the other boxes go? Oh, where did the other boxes go? Smoke and mirrors, my little flea. But more importantly, we have our tent. I'm not sure how I feel about being called a little flea. Okay. Our big top is looking rather little. This won't do it all. Our friends are coming. Many friends. Friends who require a proper venue. Okay. Turning this humble bumble of cloth into our big top will take a true team of eff a true team effort. We'll need permits, pegs, and poles. Z, you will help Firebird haul logs to support our tent. Zin, you can prepare the rigging. Phoenix, it is clear you have a gift for opening boxes, so I want you to focus on that. 
I calculate if that if we all work together, the circus will be ready in six days, no less. The work begins now. Hmm. Sigh. Must I do everything myself? Fine. But I'll remember this, you layabouts. Phoenix, you might want to stand back. I was kind of looking forward to building the circus. You used to build the circus, but now we don't. I, I wanted to build the circus! Oh, hey, someone's on um the Woody Horsey. Magnific <laughs> Magnifique. A perfect palace for wonders and delight, and there will be plenty of room for all my friends when they arrive. Uh, okay. Who are your friends? You must be eager to see what mysteries lie inside our big top. Soon, my lovely, soon. There are a few more preparations to attend to first. Untangles. Zin, would you be so kind as to fetch the... Zin, where did my fool run off to? How did this even happen? Seriously. Stay calm, Zin. Phoenix will get you down. Why me? You're taller than me. I can't even reach him. How is this working? Clown upside down. What is wrong, little dove? Did my fool frighten you with his, without his mask? It is merely a trick of the light. I would tell you more, but a magician never reveals his secrets. Yeah, I liked him better with the mask on. He looks just a bit weird. <laughs> How is it that my horse is a bigger prankster than my clown? I suppose every family has its quirks. Someone needs to get poor Zin's mask back from Z, and since the two of you hit it off so well earlier, it should probably be you. Uh, great. Uh, Zin, Zin's not going anywhere, okay. Oh, not Zin, Z. <laughs> Mixing them up. Z, uh, Z's just running on the spot. Not the most effective way um, to run off with a mask, Z, but um, you do you. I'll just take that. Thank you. <laughs> Z reluctantly drops the mask. I should probably return this to Yidris. Okay. That was a weird... That, that, that was just weird. <laughs> Oh, and there's someone floating. That's fine. There's weird stuff going on at this circus. We should get my jester back in costume right away. A clown without his makeup is a truly frightening sight. Now, does everyone have their appearance sorted out? Firebird is looking a bit long in the face, but I suppose that can't be helped. Let's get back to making magic. Our big top is missing something. Of course, the cherry on top of our Sunday of dreams. Oh, that is, I love that, Sunday of dreams. A luminous sign to welcome my guests to the show. Now, where did I put the sign? Uh, um, maybe I should have read that. Where am I? Oh, over here. Ah, here it is. Um, I think we broke the sign with your butt, Firebird. <laughs> Firebird's butt broke the sign. There we go. Uh, it's floating. I'm not even going to question it because this circus just has a bunch of weird stuff going on. So, <laughs> it's not even surprising that it's like, of course the sign's floating. Perfect, our circus shall light up the night, bringing in guests like moths to a flame. Wouldn't that kill the moths, though? It doesn't sound like the best metaphor to use, unless something even more sketchy is going on here. Yes, a conf conflagration of delights. We will put on such shows here, the likes of which this world has never seen, and I have you to thank. Let no one tell you that you're just another silly girl with a head for horses. Stick with me, my dear girl, and we'll bring down the house. It occurs to me that our circus will be a ball, but it is a bit off the beaten track. What kind of host would I be if I did not make life easier for our guests? 
One's time on this earth is so limited, we should make it easier to have a ball. That's it, a pumpkin! Phoenix, you must fetch us a pumpkin, but where to find one? What's this? Lest my nose deceives me, the smell of nutmeg and allspice is wafting up from Morland stables. Could it be someone is baking a pumpkin pie? Fate truly smiles on us, little flea. Follow the scent and find our mystery pie maker. Perhaps they can part with the pumpkin. Okay. I actually love pumpkin pie. Oh. oh, so this is actually the smell of the pie. Oh my gosh, I would definitely follow this. I love pumpkin pie, um, especially with maple syrup. Oh, that's so good. I don't get to eat it very often though. It's not the most common thing in Australia. It's definitely more of an American thing. Um, so don't get to eat pumpkin pie often, but oh, I love it. It's just a sweet pumpkin pie with perfect spices and just a little bit of maple syrup if I'm feeling extra, extra sweet. It is so good. I kind of wish that pumpkin pie was a traditional thing in Australia. Cause wait, where did the smell go? Oh, here it is, here it is. Which way? It's wafting from this direction. Is someone baking a pie inside that cave? Is Conrad baking a pie? Conrad's not baking a pie, right? Um, no, it's not Conrad. I didn't think so. I don't think the pie would taste very good if it's being cooked on that giant fire. Um, it'd probably burn super easy. I don't even know if you can cook a, f a pie over a fire. I'm pretty sure you'd need an oven. Like, even if it's a fire oven, you need something enclosed. You can't just cook it over an open fire, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Holdsworth. Of course it's you baking the pie. Why, yes, I... <gasps> can I have some pumpkin pie? I am baking pumpkin pie. Why do you ask? Because I want some. It smells amazing. Oh, I might have to... I don't even know if my, if my local grocery store would have pumpkin pie. I might have to might have to go and see if they do because I really want some now. You need a pumpkin? After baking my pies, I had exactly one pumpkin left over. I don't believe in coincidences. Fate meant for you to have this pumpkin, dear. Take it. No explanation necessary. This Holdsworth is so nice. Can I have a piece of pie as well? I wish she'd offered me a piece of pie because I would have said yes. Give me the pie. Oh. I definitely have to go down to Coles later and uh, see if they sell um, pumpkin pie. I feel like maybe they don't, but it's worth a try. If not, then I might just have to try and make one myself with some, some tinned pumpkin because I'm lazy and I've never made pumpkin pie before, but I might just do that. Or I might just pick up another pie, like maybe apple pie or something. Oh, but I really want pumpkin pie now. There's just something about it. It's such a unique taste. Oh, it's delicious. I could I could eat an entire pumpkin pie all by myself. That is the dream. Idris or Yidris, I'm back. With exactly one pumpkin. Did you find the pie maker? Of course you did. And you found our pumpkin? I'm a very lucky fellow. Fortune always smiles on my friends. Now, what are the magic words for transforming a pumpkin? Salab... Uh, Salagadula? Kalamazoo? <laughs> Let's just go with the classic abracadabra. I, I wish we were... Are we transforming it into a pie? I would have preferred a, a giant pie over a horse trailer. I kind of wish the horse trailer was shaped like a pumpkin. That would have been awesome. Our circus of dreams is coming together quite nicely, wouldn't you agree? I guess? I mean, it's not really my dream, it's more your dream. More fun and games will follow, but for now, I invite you to enter the big top as much as you wish. Ride, rehearse, prepare for the main event, my shining star. For when my friends arrive, I want you in ring where you belong. My faithful fool Zin has gotten it into his head that he would like to put on a race. He read a book about rodeo clowns and selected a course from the Western tradition, a butterfly pole configuration used in Gymkhana. Butterfly, what a fitting metaphor for my circus where dreams transform into reality. 
Would you care to give Zin's race a go? Sure! We could use some more XP for Firebird. I've always been bad at this race because I forget the pattern. So it's like here. Oh, no, we don't go around yet. Here and then around here. And here. And then it's around to this one. Okay, I think I've remembered the pattern. Um, there's some creepy hooded people looking at me. I don't know how- it's really bright in here too, the lights are extremely bright. Okay, yeah, those lights are super bright. Um, let's get out of here. I don't think Phoenix or Firebird would enjoy those lights on them. Magnifique, magnifique, I can never pronounce that word. A veritable ballet on four legs. With you at the reins, Firebird is as graceful as a butterfly. I hope you'll come back and race with us again. Uh, sure, maybe another time. But we've got a new journal entry about Idris. Can I oh, yes, I can. We don't know his age. He's a circus ring master. Something funny about his left eye. He loves cotton candy. I love cotton candy too. His special skills are fortune telling and sleight of hand. Yidris is the ringmaster of the Circus of Dreams up in Nilma's Highland. I helped him build the circus. I mean, I didn't really help him build the circus. I just watched him build it himself. Um, after meeting his horse, Z, down in Moorland. Maybe help isn't the right word. Yeah, it really isn't. As he seemed to have everything under control. It's almost like he was playing with me. And who are these friends, he mentioned. Normal clowns like Zin, I hope. That guy sort of gives me the creeps. Whatever his true intentions are, Yidris created something truly amazing and beautiful, and I'm excited that I can ride in his big top. Uh, okay, well I guess I'll continue talking to him. Phoenix, come close, there is a matter of grave importance I wish to share with you. What? My circus of dreams exists to make people happy and fulfill the wishes born from the hearts of all misfits who find their way here. Lately, I've been hearing whispers on the wind for such a wish. The world wishes for something beautiful and, am and the amazing Yidris is all too happy to oblige. My dear companion Z has already been tasked to procure the necessary elements for such a task. And here she is now. Oh, little pony! Oh my gosh, are we going to sacrifice the pony? Star's Devil wouldn't do that. It's a funny thought, but Star Stable wouldn't make a sacrifice. Z just really likes running on the spot. Gather around, one and all, let the show begin. Z, she's like shuffling. Um. No. No. <laughs> hmm, a little long in the tooth. Granted, there is a certain nostalgic appeal, but I desire to bring you something truly new. Yeah, um, that's... <laughs> Let's try that again. Z is still just shuffling. I love it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh dear, what is this merry mishap? A bit early in the season, don't you think? I'd jolly well send this... Well, better send this gift back unopened. I like it! Do not despair, little flea. We are getting close. My third attempt will give birth to something astounding. I kind of wish we got updated reindeers. I'd totally rather reindeer around. Ah, oh, the zoni. With the cute little zebra noises. Magnifique. Phoenix, Firebird, indeed all of Jorvik gaze upon the miracle that now stands before us. I mean, it's not just a regular zoni, because you could just breed a zoni. Anyone could breed a zoni, but look at the eyes. My pinnacle of creation, a true one-of-a-kind marvel that could only happen at Yidris' Circus of Dreams. Oh, I love her eyes. Now, now, don't be jealous, Z. You're both marvels in entirely different ways. This new amazing creature will bear the name Zoni, a fantastical and beautiful creature only to be seen at Yidris' Circus of Dreams. Or where people have irresponsibly bred zebras and ponies. You know. 
I kind of wonder how this pony feels about suddenly being transformed into a zoni. Like, this pony didn't ask for that to happen. I wonder if it even knows that it's a zoni. Maybe it doesn't know any different. I cannot keep a wonder such as this for myself. This is a gift to be shared with the entire world, perhaps even with you. For a small adoption fee, you too could find the amazing Yidris' Zoni in your possession. Who knows, it might even bring you good fortune. I'm gonna pass. I, I don't really... I don't think Phoenix would want a Zoni. I mean, these guys really shouldn't exist. It's really not ethical to breed a pony and a zebra, but in this case, this pony has just been magically created, so it's not that big a deal. But I don't think Phoenix would really want a half zebra, half pony with some weird magic going on. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.